Hi everybody, this is Talal here again, going to give you a quick demonstration on a web application I developed for my company to simplify the process of managing uh, employee attendances um, on a daily basis and on a monthly basis to know um, exactly how under par and or um, overworked a certain employee is. Um, this has literally taken away almost 90% or if not more of the amount of work our HR department would have to do um, if they if they did this the manual way which they were doing before. Um, and in this demonstration, this is the warehouse version of my system, which is uh, our warehouse department. Their staff is separate from our office staff. Um, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate uh, the use of this web application for them. What we basically have here is uh, three modules, three tabs here, monthly view, daily view, monthly report. Monthly view will give you an employee per month display over here in this table and give you the total hours done at the bottom. Um, so if I select a name, let's say I select dummy and I say for the, yeah, for the month of September, it'll immediately display the results of dummy for 2000, uh, September 2013 and the total hours that this dummy has done. Uh, come here at the bottom um, and this is all using Ajax the page is never refreshed never reloaded Ajax is um, is a breeze to work with it simplifies everything now there's a three second refresh time on this table so since it uh, primarily is an intranet based website that shouldn't be a problem um, and uh, this little panel here is the insert panel. You can add new entries. So for dummy, I know for a fact that uh, there's no entries in February. Before I go there, I'll just note one thing that <coughs> our, uh, our HR department uh, calculates, to make things complicated uh, for the developer, haha, uh, calculates monthly time done uh, based on the 22nd of the previous month to the 21st of the current month. So September is actually August the 22nd to September the 21st. That's which what it should be filed in, right? So the way I've programmed this, uh, you know how difficult, uh, or web developers know for sure how difficult it is to work with dates and uh, times in, uh, in uh, PHP and uh, Java. Uh, it takes some getting used to. Um, so this basically uh, handles it automatically. Uh, I've, I've made my own custom functions to allow to facilitate the query of September 2013 uh, from the 22nd of the month before, so that's 22nd of August to the 21st. The reason why this isn't going to the 21st is because it was probably a weekend on that day. Um, so Friday, Saturday, of course, will not reflect here. That is why it's going up to the 19th. Okay, that being uh, put aside, let's go to February 2014. I know there aren't any entries here. Um, so in, in insert new record, I will say, click here and I automatically get a list of all the staff. I don't have to type anything. It's just daisy doozy. Um, select a date. So we know February 2014 actually starts from January 2000, uh, January 2014. 2nd 2014 so we go to January 22nd and as you can see it get automatically gets filed under February 2014 to reflect on our query um, this is cool punch in punch out one punch in punch out two punch in punch out three and total time um, this will all reflect on the total time automatically I do not have to make any calculations by myself um, why do we have three punch in punch outs well maybe somebody goes for a lunch break or somebody has something personal to attend to and this uh, helps the company uh, evaluate what is their actual work time um, and of course leave status uh, in case you decide to take a paid or unpaid leave in one of those categories so punch in punch out one let's say uh, you came in at 12 in the morning and you left at uh, 11 15 say done and it automatically puts 11 hours and 15 minutes in your total time. Why is that cool? Well, because when you go to punch in punch out 2, so you come back at uh, 2.25 in the afternoon and you left at 5.25 or that's 
for sake of complicating things, let's make it 542 in the afternoon. It automatically calculates the difference between these, these two times and adds them up, and the same applies for the third. Um, now, when I click Submit, again, this is all Ajax. The page is never refreshed. Your values stay where they are. You can choose to reset them or not, depending on how you're working. Um, and I click submit and immediately you see the result updated on um, under February 2014 and it's arranged in ascending order as per date um, so even if I forgot to enter something before and I add it later it will not jumble everything up it'll sort everything in ascending order and also give you the total number of hours done for the month of February 2014 um, by dummy Okay, and if you want to delete it, you have an ID number here next to that entry. So I know this is 746. I will go to my insert panel here, click on ID, put 746, and click delete. Should be gone. There you go. Now we also have daily view. And to demonstrate this, let me go to our uh, office um, version because that is being updated at this point. QVAMS. Okay, this is the office version of our AMS. Um, so let's say we go to daily view and let's select a date. So maybe I'm looking at December the 3rd and it gives you a list of all the employees that came in to work or didn't come into work even uh, on that date and what are their time what, what, what um, uh, when did they punch in punch out what their total hours are where was anybody on leave um, and this really helps to to get a quick idea I, I want to see what was um, what was the productivity level on that certain date and you can just uh, do that here with this query. Um, just gonna minimize this and get this out of the way. We've already seen them. So that was daily view, and now uh, monthly report. This is pretty cool uh, in the sense that it will give you what it says a monthly report um, for all the staff, but it won't give you the details. It will just give you the total hours and compare them to the office hours and the labor hours. So let's say I select August 2013. This is a ton of information, uh, very useful information at the disposal of HR. Um, you have, let's say, Mr. Ahmed Inham. He did 176 hours and 45 minutes. Uh, according to the office, it should be 184 hours. And just for labor hour purposes, we nobody follows this. Um, but just for labor hour purposes, it's 216 hours is what it should have been. Um, so overtime is at minus 7 hours and 15 minutes and labor overtime is minus 19 hours did not take any paid leaves uh, and didn't take any unpaid leaves either um, so that's a ton of information and it's all being automated and uh, is available to HR at their disposal and uh, the process has been simplified almost by probably 90 percent uh, the only manual work required to do is check the fingerprint machine and make those entries into the system hope you guys enjoyed watching this thank you very much please uh, leave your comments and feedback um, down there at the comment section have a nice day